All right, there we go. All right, we're going to get started. Welcome to Avalon Enchanted's weekly illumination, <laughs> ascended illumination reading. We are going to have a cat in a second. All right, Jacoby. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to put you down for a minute, okay? <laughs> It's always when I'm doing something that he wants pets or hugs. And I have hair flying all over the place. All right. You want to say hi to everybody? He's purring. He wants attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. How about let's try. You can come on my lap. Or if you want to be held. You want to be held? You want to get down? Sorry guys, just trying to let him decide what he wants. Usually when he gets like this, he wants me to hold him like a baby. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this with my cat right now who wants loves because I feel bad if I put him down. Because this means he wants, he wants attention and he wants hooks as I have cat hair flying all over the place. All right, this is the first time I'll be doing a weekly reading with a cat on my shoulder. All right, so welcome everybody to our weekly Ascended Illuminations <laughs> reading. I am Cindy here with Avalon Enchanted. If you are watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay. It's giving me hugs. <laughs> oh God, this is what he does. See, you know, he'll just sit on my shoulder like a baby and make me carry him. He's been like this forever. All right, we're gonna do a reading with the cat on my shoulder. All right, so this week we are gonna be choosing between three dragons. All right, so we have the violet dragon, the green dragon, and then the golden dragon. So I'm gonna show you them right now. So we have the violet dragon. We have the green dragon and the golden dragon. All right, so take a second. I'll show you them again. Whichever dragon you are drawn to is the one that you are gonna select. And then based upon that dragon, we are gonna do an energy reading for the week for you guys. All right, yes, Jacoby, this is going to be a little bit difficult to shuffle with you on my shoulder. <laughs> All right, so again, if you're popping on watching the live, feel free to say hey. Um, let me show you the dragons one more time. So we have violet, green, and the golden dragon. All right, and we are going to start off the reading with the Violet Dragon. So if you chose Violet, like I said, this is going to be interesting trying to sh uh, shuffle and read with a cat on my shoulder, but I feel bad making him get down. All right, so who chose Violet? If you chose Violet. All right, I'm gonna pull some. Hello, Donna. Happy Friday Eve to you as well. And you chose Violet. Awesome, let's see what we got for you. This is Jacoby. <laughs> he decided he wanted to be part of the live as well because he wants some attention. All right, so if you chose Violet. Really, Jacoby? All right, this is the point. Hold on one second because he will need to get down. All right. All right. Now that I am covered in cat hair. All right, so if you chose Violet, the Violet Dragon is coming in because he wants you to take a moment and sense what is in your heart. Again, Jacoby. <laughs> He just wants to be here with us today. 
And I'm going to try to let him know. I'm sorry, baby. You better get down. I'm sorry. Look. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. All right. So. So, Violet, we need to take a moment to sense what is in our hearts, okay? Because something is there deep down that maybe you've been either longing for or wanting, um, but maybe it's not fully come in yet. So now it's time to take a moment. Yep. And really, you know, sense what is coming in through your heart. All right. So the first card that came flying out for you guys is the Knight of Cups. All right. So especially with this upcoming week with the Knight of Cups coming in, Okay. You have to bring in the self-love a little bit, bring in, I'm feeling like the romance and it doesn't have to be romance with another person. It could also be that romance with yourself. Okay. Like loving yourself. Okay. So if you've had, you know, a couple of weeks where you've been really, really down on yourself and kind of either doubting yourself or just having that negative self-talk, it's time to bring in that love again. Okay. And feeling that love for yourself within your heart. Cause I know sometimes when we're going through a rough patch it's very easy to get down on ourselves um but for you guys this week you know the energy is really wanting you to really focus on yourself what is inside your heart okay because you may you know that that almost like itching feeling like you you're looking for something or you need something to come in I'm feeling like that's, you know, what you guys are maybe going through right now. So it's really time to like just center yourself, get into the present and just really do some some searching in the heart. OK, another card for you guys. All right. We have the world. All right. So with the world coming in, okay, so we have this, we're taking a moment to look into our heart, okay, we're taking some time to really bring in that self love. All right. So I mean, with the world coming in, I'm almost feeling like you guys are waiting for something to happen. So it's like, oh, yes, I will do this for myself. But first, I need this to happen. Okay, so you need to bring in or you need to push yourself a little bit more, okay? So stop waiting for that one thing to happen before you go and do this for yourself, okay? You need to be that turning point for yourself, okay? You can't just, you know, sit back and say, well, I'm just going to sit and wait. No, you have to take that first step for yourself, whatever it may be, whatever it is that's going to, you know, allow you to really look into your heart. You need to be the one that's going to take that first step for yourself, okay? So, and this came flying out. We have the hanged man, okay? Oops, sorry, I'm trying to do it on two videos right here. So, with the hanged man coming in for you guys, I almost feel, again, it's like this kind of, um, you're in this stuck kind of energy right now. You're feeling like you want something really, you know, to happen for you, or you're feeling like you, you think there's something coming in for you. You don't really know what that is. But again, that's when you have to like look into your heart. Okay. Bring out what it is that you want for yourself. But with the hang man coming in, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like you're just kind of in limbo right now. All right. So how are you going to get yourself out of that kind of like limbo feeling that kind of like, you know, status quo feeling where you're kind of just going with the flow right now. All right. So it's time for you guys to really put yourself first and really push yourself to do whatever it is that you've been feeling in your heart. Okay. So first you got to do a little bit of heart searching. And then once it comes in for you, you're going to have to be the one that pushes yourself forward. I want to pull one more card for you guys. Five of cups. All right. So five of cups coming in, you know, something that's going to help you um, a little bit of guidance on how to kind of, you know, get through this energy and really start putting yourself first. Um, five of cups. All right. Trying not to focus on what you don't have at this point. Okay. Because sometimes when we focus on what we don't have, it kind of keeps us stuck. All right. So 
manifesting. Okay. Once you find, and you're doing that heart searching and you find what it is that you want or what you want to do for yourself, you need to start bringing in the energy like it is already here. Okay. So say if it's, let me try to think of an example. Say if you want um, a friendship, a relationship that maybe, you know, it kind of got a little bit stuck, a little bit um, disconnected. All right. So manifest bringing that relationship back in if it's for your highest and best always you whenever manifesting always you know bring it in if it's for your highest and best but with that being said start bringing in the energy of gratefulness mm -hmm. as if you already have it all right so if you're hoping for a friendship to, to get back together and maybe you haven't seen a person in a while, um, really feeling in your heart what it is going to feel like once you connect with that person again, okay? Bringing in that love, feeling that love in your heart, even though you may not have it right now, you need to feel it in your heart and your mind, what it's going to feel like when you have that. And that's going to kind of, you know, br uh, pull that energy towards you. Because if you were, if you're in this five of cup energy where it's like, Oh, you know, you know, I really wish I had my friend back in my life. I really wish that, you know, things could be like this. Um, and you're putting in a, in a place of lack of what you don't have, you're going to bring in more of that energy. Okay. So just to kind of round it up a little bit with the purple violet, <laughs> violet, you're taking a moment to sense what is in your heart. Okay. You have the Knight of Cups. All right. So it's time to bring in that love, that self-care, that romance. We have the world. All right. With the world coming up for you guys, I'm kind of feeling like it's, you're almost at a stalemate right now and you need to be the one that is pushing yourself out of this stalemate. Okay, making that first step for yourself. We also have the hanged man, right? I'm feeling like you guys are kind of, again, in that stalemate, in that kind of like stuck type of energy. And with the five of cups, it's kind of telling us in order to move past this energy, you need to bring in that feeling into your heart and your mind of what it's going to feel like, what it's going to look like when whatever it is that you're hoping for comes in, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we are going to move on to the green dragon. Let me show you guys the green dragon. All right, so if you chose the green dragon, green represents dragon rider, dragon rider, not writer. All right, so for you guys that chose this green dragon, okay, it's time for you to prepare to live the life free of fear and compromise, all right? So if you chose green, what is holding you back right now out of fear? Um, what is holding you back right now because you're putting yourself second, all right? So it's time to start getting yourself ready to live whatever it is that you want to live without fear and without compromise, all right? So we're gonna get a little bit more deeper into that. All right, so for the first card, we have the Emperor. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I'll show you the cards in one minute. I just wanna pull all three. I'm still, I am so covered in cat hair right now. <laughs> all right, and then we have Death and Rebirth. All right, so green dragon. First card we have for you guys is the emperor. Okay, so the emperor really represents the energy that is surrounding you this week as far as you personally. Okay, so I'm feeling like if you guys chose the green dragon, okay, remember I said you're preparing to live your life free of fear and compromise. I'm feeling like you are really in a position right now, not only physically, but mentally, spiritually, you are in the perfect position right now to start that journey of, you know, releasing the fear of putting yourself first, not compromising, not, um, 
putting yourself second in any situation. So you may be, and if you don't feel it now, like over the next couple of days, you, you may one day wake up and be like, no, I can do this. All right. So the energy surrounding you this week is really, really good. Okay. Now what may hold you back from staying in this energy is the seven of pentacles. All right. So when, when I say holding you back with the seven of pentacles, it's the energy of when we really, really want something and we're just not seeing the results yet. It can kind of throw us off our game and make it feel like, you know, we're not doing that thing that we are supposed to be doing or it's not going to happen because it's not coming in. With the seven of pentacles, all right, with this kind of being a challenge card, you have to get out of that mindset that if I don't see it right now, it's not happening because things are starting to happen, all right? That that seed that you've planted, it's starting to take root, but it's still below the surface. Just because it's below the surface doesn't mean that it's not there yet, okay? So that's something that may shake you guys up a little bit, all right? Especially when you, you're feeling great, you feel like, you know, you can you can do anything, but then you're not may not being may not be seeing the results as soon as you want it. When that happens, some of us are like, oh God, it's not gonna happen. All right. You have to get out of that mindset because the seven of pentacles is telling us that it is there. It hasn't reached the surface to where we can physically see it yet, but it is there. Okay. So also with that, start being grateful for the, the little things that you are seeing that are happening, okay? And I'm talking about the like the little, little things that sometimes we would just dismiss, okay? Recognize those little things, all right? And what, as you're recognizing those little things, be grateful. Don't uh, say, you know, oh yeah, well, that happened, but that must have been a mistake or, you know, that happened, but I, I think I just made that up. No, as the little things start happening, oh, wow, like I can start seeing everything coming to how I want it because this this thing happened. Yeah, it may have been like this little thing, but build it up, make it this huge accomplishment, okay? Now, how are you gonna continue to stay in this emperor energy and really staying out of this, you know, mindset of, oh, I don't see anything yet? We have death and rebirth. OK, what in your life right now needs to kind of, you know, be 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 ended. OK, so death and rebirth in order for us to, you know, birth something new, we have to end something that doesn't serve us. All right. So take a moment. Remember, we had the green prepare to live your life free of fear and compromise. OK, what fear are you feeling right now that needs to to you put an end to it. Okay. So death, ending that fear. Okay. I know it's really, really tough, but the more you start doing things without thinking about fear, the, the easier it's going to get. Okay. So what fears, okay. What aspects of your life are you compromising that you need to stop and put yourself first in, in order to really start this new journey for yourself, okay? I'll pull one more card for you guys. Again, to kind of wrap up. Nope, not that one. Eight of Wands, all right. So Eight of Wands coming up for you guys. That's kind of telling me once you really get a handle on, you know, staying in this emperor energy, okay, where you, you know that you can do it, you feel, you feel stable, you feel comfortable. Once you stop focusing so, so much on the things that you're not seeing and understand and know in your heart that things are starting to happen, even though you don't see it. And once you can set aside that fear, okay, and you're setting aside that compromise that you may be making with either yourself or others, once you get a handle on that and you know that you can push forward, you have the eight of wands. Things are going to start happening really, really quickly. Okay. I'm really feel, feeling like if you guys chose green um, at this point, you're the one that's holding yourself back because of, you know, the stuff that's going on in, in the mind. Okay. Like I said, the, the feel, the fear, um, the, 
the self-doubt, okay? Once you can start getting a handle on that and really staying in the present moment and knowing that, you know, that's all just the ego talking, things are going to start moving really, really quickly for you guys in the direction that you want whatever it is that you're trying to bring in to come in. All right. Okay, we are going to move on to those of you who chose the gold dragon. I'll show you that card in one second. So I'll shuffle these a little bit. I have cat hair flying all over the place from when Jacoby was on my shoulder. All right, gold dragon. All right, so gold dragon represents the temple of the sun. All right, so if you chose the gold dragon, he is coming in for you guys because he's wanting you to look into the mirror of truth. All right, so what do I mean by that? Looking into the mirror of truth, okay? Taking a look in the mirror and really asking for the truth to come out, okay? So something may be hidden, okay? It could be something in your physical world. It could be something that is in your heart, but it's really time to take a deep look into something that needs to come out, okay? Whatever truth needs to come out, again, it could be with a situation. It could be with people or within yourself, okay? It's really time for you guys to start focusing on bringing in the truth of whatever the situation is. All right, so let's pull some cards on this. Again, if you guys are watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay, as well as I would love to hear which dragon you guys chose and if these messages are resonating with you. Okay, then. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. You guys got the five of cups just like the first group okay and the star all right so again let me show you guys the golden dragon okay temple of the sun it's time to start looking into the mirror of truth all right and as far as the, the energy surrounding this especially through this week we have the ten of swords all right so very fitting Mirror of truth, okay? Taking a look into that mirror, okay? There's something that you need to start letting go of, okay? And that's where I'm feeling like you're going to find that truth, okay? Because there is something that is holding back, holding you back. There is something that you need to let go of. And I'm, uh, you know what it is that you need to let go of, but it's almost like you're trying to convince yourself that, you know, maybe it's not that bad, or maybe, you know, I can hang on to this a little bit longer. All right. So that's where that moment of uh, that mirror of truth comes in. Okay. Taking a good look into the situation because you know, deep down in your heart that you need to let go of something, whatever it is for you. But I'm almost feeling like you guys are almost have to convince yourself of it. Like, look at that mirror. Okay. You know that whatever it is that you need to let go of, you need to let go of it. Okay. So what is holding you back? All right. And you got the five of cups. That's kind of what's holding you back right now. Okay. Again, with the five of cups, it's about, it's all that worrying and focusing on, you know, it, I'm almost like getting the feeling of, well, yeah, but if I let go of this, then this might happen and that might happen. Okay. You guys really need to stop focusing so much on the what might happen. Okay. Stop focusing on so much, you know, the negative that could come out of the situation and start focusing on the positives in the situation. Okay. Because we tend to, when we're thinking something through, we tend to always think about, you know, what, what the, the outcome could the negative outcome could be. You need to start thinking about what the positive outcome is, okay? Because right now we're focusing so much on, you know, what may happen negatively if we do start letting go of the things and walking forward um, versus, you know, the positive things that are gonna come in for us, all right? So how are you gonna move through this energy? 
those of you who chose the golden dragon, okay? We have the star, all right? So with the star, trusting that the universe has your back, trusting that, you know, whatever feelings that you're having, you know, that intuition that you, you know, you just feel like this is the right move to make, you have to start trusting that, okay? Because that's coming from somewhere for a reason, okay? Now it's time to start trusting that, you know, and believing, believing that you can walk forward from whatever it is this thing is that you need to let go for yourself, okay? Hey, Lindsay, um, you, you missed it. Jacoby was at the beginning. You have to watch the replay. He was sitting on my shoulder. <laughs> He's my cat. Um, so yeah, so it's time to start letting go, okay? It's time to start looking into that mirror of truth, okay? You need to start bringing that out because you already know it's there, but it's almost like you don't want to believe it's there, so you're kind of pushing it back, all right? And you got to start trusting, trusting that the universe has your back, okay? Trusting that whatever is coming up for you is coming up for a reason, okay? So whatever it is, that truth that is there, it's coming up for a reason, okay? Um, so it's time to start really following your heart, following your intuition. I want to pull one more card for you guys. That was, that was a whole bunch of cards. All right, one more card for the golden dragon. And you guys have the Hierophant too. All right. So again, I'm feeling like with the Hierophant, okay, once you really start trusting and believing and just knowing that, you know, whatever this thing is that you're trying to let go of, this truth that you're bringing in, once you really start believing in yourself that, you know, the universe does have your back, okay, you're going to start feeling better about the situation, okay? Because right now I'm feeling like, you know, especially with this five of cups, you're not feeling too great about whatever the situation is with letting it go. But I'm feeling like once you really start believing that and feeling it deep down in your heart, you're going to start feeling great about whatever the decision is that you need to make for yourself, okay? So just keep on trusting that whatever you, whatever it is that you're starting to feel right now, okay, whatever this truth is that you kind of need to, you know, start letting some things go. Once you start really focusing on how you really feel, okay, once you start letting go of these negative thoughts and negative um, outcomes that you think may happen, you're going to start feeling a lot better about the situation itself, okay? All right. So that's what I have for you guys for this week. Again, if you're watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay. And I would love to hear which dragon you chose and if um, the reading resonated with you. So please let me know and comment on that. Um, what else, guys? Oh, this Saturday. Um, this Saturday night, um, this is an in-person and we are also doing it virtually. Karen Phillips from Creative Chi will actually be joining us at Avalon Enchanted because she is going to be doing a Feng Shui 101 workshop. I'm actually super excited about this. Um, if you haven't seen our live, check out our live we did um, a couple of Mondays ago. Um, she talks about, you know, what we're going to be learning about and, and a bunch of things. Um, yeah, I'm already excited. I can't wait. Um, so tickets for that are on Eventbrite. Um, it's also posted on Facebook events. So if you are interested in that, um, space is limited in person. So make sure you, um, hit us up right away. If you want to do that, if you, um, need me to send you the link for that, um, message us and I can definitely send you the link. Um, In-person spaces are really, really limited um, because the small, um, the studio is kind of small. So we, we need to um, limit how many people are in there. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for what tuning in this week. If you have any questions about any of our services or any of our events, please um, just message us and we, we would love to get in contact with you. But I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your week and you will be seeing Tori next Thursday. Talk to you all later. Bye.